Adventures by Morse. Carlton E. Morse presents... The Land of the Living Dead, featuring Captain Friday. If you like high adventure, come with me. If you like the stealth of intrigue, come with me. If you like blood and thunder... Come with me. Death comes to La Jolla. Tonight's episode opens with the Dr. Julian English expedition at the seaport of La Jolla on the coast of Chile, following the deadly adventure on shipboard with the gorilla man and the werewolf. Two barriers placed by the ancient priests of the hidden sacred city have now been overcome by Captain Friday and Skip Turner. Agents of the ancient priesthood of the living dead had attempted to prevent the English party ever leaving San Francisco and then had attempted to annihilate the whole party at sea. But the little group has won through to this abject little Chilean seaport of La Jolla on the edge of the fever jungles. But here's Captain Friday. Yes, the seaport itself has perhaps 500 inhabitants, not counting the superstitious, half-savage Indians of the surrounding jungles who enter and leave the seaport at will. Shacks make up the town's edifices, with the exception of the single two-story hotel. At the moment, Dr. English, who heads our expedition, and we four, who are his companions, stand gazing with interest on the Indians who pass us by with ill-natured stares. Dr. English's injured left arm is still in a sling, But Judith, his daughter, and Skip Turner are in high spirits and eager to push on toward the peaks of Zambala, behind which the sacred city is said to lie. Even the pessimism of our Spanish guide, Mrs. Santos, has somewhat fallen away as a result of again setting foot on her native soil. How about that arm, Dr. English? Think you can travel? Without the least discomfort, Captain Friday. In any event, we start for the ancient monastery immediately. Hey, you say you got the man who can guide us through this secret passage, Miss Santos? See, si. I have found Juan Mendoza. Well, then we can get going today, huh? Patience, Senor Turner. The path we take is a long one. A path of many traps and creeping horrors. A path encompassed about grotesque tortures and pitiless death. Do not be too impatient to thrust yourself into it. Oh, must we always harp on the gruesome, Mrs. Santos? We... (gasps) Father, Father, quick. Eh? Did you see her? Did you see that girl? What do you mean, Judith? What girl? It's the girl who shot Robert. The girl with the green eyes. Tula. Tula here? Are you certain, senorita? Do you think I'll ever forget that face? I tell you, it was she. Which way did she go? Quickly, Judith, which way? She plunged into that crowd of Indians down at the end of the street. A girl with green eyes. You can't miss her. Come on, Skip, let's find her. Yeah, man. I always did want to get my hands on a green-eyed gal. Save the jokes. This may not be a laughing matter. We'll catch up with you later, Doctor. So Tula is back in La Jolla. But how could she get here before us? We took the first boat out of San Francisco. Most certainly by aeroplane. She is cosmopolitan, that senorita. That seems a little out of character, Mrs. Santos. The ancient jungle priests resorting to airplanes. Nothing is out of character for the priests of the La Jolla jungle, senorita English. Why, some of the most cultured diplomats of Europe are their ancients. Just as surely as are such obscene monstrosities as this vicious werewolf being. Oh, I, I hope Captain Friday and Skip catch that girl. I'd like to see her suffer as she's made us suffer. They will not overtake her, senorita. Why do you say that, Mrs. Santos? Yes, she's had but a moment's start. Senorita English, Tula is the mystery woman of three continents. Always it is the same with Tula. One moment she's here, the next she is not. Do you mean you believe the woman has the powers of black magic, Mrs. Santos? Who am I to say? All that we know is that she is the darling of the ancient priests. The priests at work again, eh? building another formidable barrier between us and their precious secrets. Be very sure of it, Doctor. Tula's presence in this place means something... something ominous. Something very bad for us. And the quicker we get out of here and into the protection of the secret passage, the better. Come, we'll wait for Captain Friday and Skip at the hotel. Hello, who is it? Senora, senora. Ah, it is Juan Mendoza. One moment, Juan. There. 
They are coming. Senora, I have come to report that all is in readiness. The pack train stands at the beginning of the secret passage. Behind the church of Santa Maria? Oh, I beg of you, Senora, be discreet. The walls have ears. You have heard something, Juan? Only that a misplaced word may bring death to us all. La Jolla is filled with the spies of the priesthood. And when do we start, Juan? At the hour before dawn. That is well. Then, with your leave, Senora, I go now to Santa Maria to say a prayer for our safe journey. The hour before sunrise, tomorrow. But if we should need you before then... I shall be in readiness, Senora. Religious chap. All South America is religious in one form or another. Intensely religious. Fanatically religious. Dangerously religious, perhaps. You will learn just how true these words are, Dr. English, before you have been in La Jolla many days. Hello in there. Oh, it's Captain Friday. They're back. Uh, the door's uh, unlocked, Captain. Hello. Oh, hasn't Skip back yet? But you were together. Lock it. Will you, Captain Friday? Oh, yes, of course. Skip didn't return to the hotel then. Why, no. How did you happen to separate? Is, is anything wrong, Captain? Well, not that I know of. He went down one side street, I took another. We agreed to meet back here. It's funny, he's had plenty of time to get back. Did you find the girl, Tula? Yeah, no luck at all. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe Skip found her. That's why he's not here. I will not be too certain of that, Captain Friday. What do you mean? Senor Turner will never find Tula until she wants to be found. By the way, Mrs. Santos, what's wrong with the Indians? The Indians? Yes, they're in ugly humor. Crowded me off the sidewalk and snarled at me like animals. Acted as though they wanted to stick a knife in my back. I wondered what form it was going to take this time. Why, what do you mean, Father? The priest's newest effort to stop us. Don't you see? If what the captain says is true, then the priests have roused the Indians against us. See, and we have a lot of Indian country to go through before we reach the monastery. The new barrier between us and the sacred city. Is that it, Mrs. Santos? See. Si. Capitan, what you have just told me makes me anxious about Senor Turner. Now, oh, that must be skipped now. I'll get it. Who are you? My friend, I am myself and myself alone. May I enter? A priest of the Chicotas. What do you want? A little courtesy, my friend. And a word with your estimable companion, the Dr. English. Yeah. Come in. This is Dr. English. Ah, yes. The illustrious Dr. Julian English. Archaeologist, anthropologist, and anthologist. And Senora Roberto Santos, widow of the learned Dr. Santos, who was beloved by all the people of La Jolla. Ah, and the Senorita Judith English. Who are you? What's your business with me? Does it matter who I am? I am an Indian. I am a descendant of the Chakotas, an Indian who has struggled valiantly with the intricacies of your civilization. Your robe proclaims you a priest of high office. A matter of no importance. I serve at times indifferently well. If you'll excuse me, doctor, I'm going to have a look for Skip. Uh, but my young friend, I am going to ask you to stay. Thanks for the invitation, but I'm leaving. Now. No. You are to remain. Perhaps this dagger will convince you that I am serious. Oh, no. I don't like people pulling knives on me. You'll regret this violence. Not regret, my friend. Pay, perhaps. Yes. I shall pay dearly for holding you here. But not regret. You bet you will pay. You're just making silly conversation, Captain Friday. I know. What are you driving at, priest? I say, I know I shall pay for my act. You see... We Indians are sometimes gifted with uh, clairvoyance, inner knowledge. Uh, rubbish. So? Just the same, Captain. I know you are going to stay with us. Get away from that door. Just a moment, Captain. Look here now. Just why did you come here? What do you want? I am here to reason with you. Perhaps to bargain with you. Are you an agent of the Brothers to the Living Dead? Dr. English! How indiscreet of you, doctor. Senor, let your mind go back to high noon of a day of last year, to high noon of the 28th of January. Picture a cell near the roof of a monastery in Tibet, oh, no. a patch of sunlight on the cell floor, 
a Dalai Lama seated in that patch of sunlight spinning a prayer wheel. So that's it. That is it. A package. A package that was given into the hands of Robert English, your son. Doctor, I want that package. An agent of the Brotherhood of the Living Dead. The contents of that package was destroyed before ever we set foot on American soil. Doctor, I am pained to remind you that your statement is not entirely true. There was a map. A map drawn on a parchment of human skin. A map indicating the secret passage from the monastery of your friends to the sacred city of the living dead. A secret passage that even Maya Nakib does not know of. Dr. English, I must have that map. In all the world, I alone know where that map is. In Ixkin. There's no power anywhere that could make me reveal my secret. Be fair with yourself, Doctor. You are a man of science. You have no chance of reaching the mountains of Zambala alive. Come. The map? And in exchange, I promise safe conduct back to the United States. Judith, I... No, no, Father. Don't give in to him. You realize what you're saying? Don't you dare give it to him. The answer is no, priest. Such determination. Such self-sacrifice. You are going to fly in the face of fate. But none of you will ever live to see the sacred city. Uh, except perhaps... The charming senorita English. If she were inclined to look upon my master... Why, you good for nothing... Just a minute, doctor. Excon, don't say that again. The matter rests entirely with the senorita. Get out of this room before I kill you. Of course, Capitan. Oh, uh, one thing more. There is a little matter of hostage. Hostage? One more inducement. Should you have a change of heart, should you decide to part with the map, your personal aide, Senor Skip Turner, <laughs> quaint name, will be delivered safely into your hands. You've got Skip? Adieu, ladies, gentlemen. Move a step and I'll drop you in your tracks. Get away from that door. <laughs> really now? You leave this room to lead me to Skip Turner, or you don't leave at all. If I die, do you suppose Skip Turner will live to hear about it? The priest of the living dead, Ix Khan, stands in the hotel room of Dr. English with drawn knife. Captain Friday has him covered with his gun, as Judith and Senora Santos watch in white lip suspense. Captain Friday has issued an ultimatum. Ix Khan, unless you agree to take me to where Skip Turner's held captive, you'll never leave this room alive. There are certain people whose one object in life is to prevent you reaching your destination. I am expected to join them in five minutes. Should I not appear, it is understood that I have failed to accomplish my purpose. Undoubtedly, others will come with uh, more persuasive arguments than I have put forth. A bluff. It won't get you any place. Uh, you are going to be annoying, aren't you? My young friend, I am ready to go. And I will wager one gold piece. Here, Dr. English. I'll wager that one gold piece that I leave this room unmolested. Unmolested, and though it is unkind, I shall laugh as I go. Ixcan, upon your word as a priest, tell me, what is Tula doing here? Tula. Tula, the blazing one. The torch that has lighted 10,000 hearts to the cause of Maya Nahib throughout the world. Ixcan, what brings Tula here? Ah, Senor Santos. The forces of Maya Nahib are gathering. From all over the world they are gathering. Have you forgotten that the Gila monster is soon again to ride with the sun? Then Maya Nahib is preparing for some great catastrophe? The whole world is preparing for the catastrophe, but it knows it not. Only Maya Nahib knows. But Tula. Enough. Now I go. Take one step and I'll drop you. So, my young friend... You give me a choice. Either a bullet in the back or jail. Or lead us to skip. That is not possible. <laughs> you force me then to leave 
as I said I would. A thousand pardons, Senorita English. Senora Santos. The knife! No, don't! Ah, look out! He stabbed himself. <laughs> Madre de Dios, it's gone. Was this necessary? Uh, uh, the, the only way I, I have failed. My Anahib continent is no failure. <coughs> A nuisance, my friends. Senora Santos, for your ear alone. Si, si. Strike quickly, Mrs. Santos. Ortula is forever lost. No, no, don't say that. Hush, someone will hear. <coughs> uh, uh, Dr. English, it is useless to examine me. I, I know where to strike to make a wound fatal. I am slowly bleeding to death. <laughs> a gold piece. I stake the piece of gold that I would leave this room unmolested. <laughs> I am going now. <laughs> going. No, do not cry, senorita. Life is not worth it. Life is very cheap in La Jolla. The, the monster rides with the sun. Again, your, your pardon, please. Ixcan is gone. A strange, perverted spirit. Do not weep, Senorita English. He did not want it. Another pawn removed from my naive side of the chessboard. Well, we've got to call in the constabulary and hope to heaven they'll believe we didn't kill this fella. No, no, Capitan. That we cannot do. You do not know La Jolla as I do. We would be arrested, held in the horrible jail for months, perhaps even convicted and shot. But, but we haven't done anything. We would have a hard time proving it to unfriendly officials. No, we cannot bring in the police. We certainly got to take some action. Leave the body here. Get into the secret passage to the monastery as fast as possible. Quiet. Listen. The werewolf man is outside in the hall. The cry of the pack. The promise of death. I'll get that thing this time. Don't go up there, Captain. He won't follow anyone again. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Well, the devils, why don't they fight in the open? This black magic stuff's getting on my nerves. We've been fighting in the dark for years. This is just the beginning for you. But Skip, Father, we've got to help Skip. And this body. Do we have to stay in here with this body? That howl again. Look out, I'm going to shoot through the door. No, no. Open that door, Doctor, and stand out of the way. Juan Mendoza. You. They got you, too. Stabbed in the back. Murdered. Come out here, Doctor, quick. Take care of this man. Well, the hall's empty. I'll bring him in our room. I'm going out and get Skip. No, don't go. Please don't go, Captain. Come, Captain. You are needed here. Juan is not dead. Help me. Give me a hand, Captain. All right. Easy. Uh, Easy with him. Uh, I came almost too late, senora, with words. Easy, through the door. Yeah. There. Yeah, that's it. Judith, close the door. Now then, gently. Turn him over. Oh, father. Murder, murder. Every way we turn, we find death. Senora? See, si, Juan? Uh, senora, I have heard that the senor Skip Turner has been captured by... But Yes, tell us by whom. Hush. By whom, Juan? By the Indians from down the river of... River of broken waters. They are carrying him. Carrying him toward Zambala. The work of the Brotherhood. Senora. Juan... See, Juan, I will pray. He's dead, Mrs. Santos. Juan is dead. <laughs> Take me away, Father. Take me to my room. I, I can't stand anymore. I, uh... Catch her, Capitan Friday. I've got her. Yeah, just a faint. Here, we'll take her across the hall. You stay with her, Mrs. Santos, until she's recovered.
You say Mrs. Santos is still with Judith? Yes, I locked him in the room. I want to talk to you, Dr. English. Now what, Captain? Did you hear what the priest Ixcon said to Mrs. Santos just before he died? We weren't meant to hear. You heard? Yes, I did. He said, strike quickly, Mrs. Santos, or Tula is lost forever. He said what, Captain? Strike quickly, Mrs. Santos, or Tula is lost forever. But what does it mean? Only one thing that I can see. Mrs. Santos has some connection with the Brotherhood to the Living Dead. You mean that... Looks to me like she's working with them hand and glove. Impossible. She's our friend. She's helped us. All the better for the priesthood. If they've got a friend in the enemy's camp, all the better for their cause. I don't believe it, Captain. She knows altogether too much. She explained that. How do you know she's Roberto Santos' wife? We just took her word for it. I believe her. Robert would never have trusted her unless she was one of us. And I'm sorry, Doctor, but Robert could have been mistaken. Captain, you believe this, and yet you leave her alone with Judith? It was the only way at the moment. Don't let her know we're suspicious. She can't get out of the room. But if my daughter's in danger... Judith's not in danger. Mrs. Santos will want to stay with us. She'll do everything possible to avoid our suspicions. She'll do everything possible to keep in our good graces until... Yes, Captain, go on. Until what? Until the moment comes to strike the blow. The blow that'll sweep us all into eternity. But to have such a traitor right with us... The danger will be small now that we have her spotted. Leave it to me. I'll take care of our Mrs. Santos. But what's our next move? Obviously, it's to get out of here before these two bodies are found with us. To get on the trail of Skip's kidnappers as quickly as possible. But with one dead, we haven't a guide. Yeah, if we could only just get word to the monastery for aid. That's impossible, of course. Yeah, I suppose so. Look here, Doctor. We've got to take a desperate course. Our pack animals are waiting at the beginning of the secret passage. Yes. Well, we'll lead the animals and get away. You have maps. We'll just have to chance getting through. If we fall in with the proper people from village to village, all will be well. If not, then we're lost. Yes, there's no turning back now. Doctor, what is this secret passage? There are two passages. Oh? One from La Jolla to the monastery. The second, the secret passage from the monastery to the sacred city of the sun. The passage which our friends at the monastery have sought for centuries, but have never found. And our arrival at the monastery will mean much to our friends who are fighting the priests of the living dead? It means everything. That's the reason we can't turn back. Yeah, a long chance, Doctor. Please, senores, please open the door. Open up, Doctor. I've got the door covered. If it's a trap, I'll get him. Wait, Captain. Hello? Who's there? It is I, Carlos. The door. Open the door. It will be too late. Open it, Doctor. Open it. Muchas gracias, senores. I am not too late. Shut the door. Shut it, please. What's the matter? Save me. Save me. The constabulary are after me. Step back, Doctor. I've got him covered. Do not let them catch me. Hide me. Hide me. Take me into the jungles with you. Shut up. They say in the marketplace that you go into the jungles. Take me. Take me or I am a dead man. Oh, here, get hold of yourself. Now, what's the matter? Who are you? I, I am Carlos. I, I place myself on your mercy. The, the constabulary are coming here. Hide me. Hide me, senor. Coming here? Ah, uh, keep your hands up. You see, Look here, Carlos. What have you done? Why do they want you? Uh, senores, I, I am no bad. <laughs> like you, I, I have killed a man. Like us? Uh, see, senor. He, he had to die. You see, I, I had to kill him. That's enough. You say the constabulary is coming here? Yeah, any moment. Save me, senores. And I will never breathe a word that you two have killed. Uh, take me with you. Don't say that again. We haven't killed anyone. But the bodies, senor. The two bodies. Uh, great. Uh, luck is running true to form, Doctor. <laughs> Come, senores. We can save each other. Now, see here, Carlos. You're mistaken. You, you have nothing to fear from Carlos, senor. He will never tell. He... Who are they? Ah, the priest who calls himself Ixcan. Good work, senores. He, a wolf, a jackal. You're talking of the dead. <gasps> and Juan Mendoza. Uh, Juan knew the jungle as few others. But, senors, I do know the jungle. You knew Juan Mendoza? He was a friend, senor, a good friend of Carlos. What Juan knew, I knew. You save me now, and I will save you in the jungle. Listen. What's that? Oh, it is the gathering of the mob, senor. They have come with the constabulary for me. We must do something, Captain. Come, we'll go for Mr. Santos and Judith. Are you going to trust this fellow, Doctor? We've got to. Perhaps he can be our guide. Oh, gosh, yes, senor. But make haste. Out the back way. I'll get Judith and Mrs. Santos. Carlos, you see that the passage in the back is open. You see? Come on, Doctor. Here, I have the key. Captain, the door's unlocked. No, they're gone. Judith and Mrs. Santos are gone. What have we done? What have we done? Look, they've taken all Judith's baggage. Everything's gone. 
Quick, let's check Mr. Sanders' room. It's just next door. Yeah, this door's unlocked, too. Huh. Look, nothing here at all. Gone. All gone. My son gone, my friend is gone, and now my daughter's gone. That cursed woman, that traitress... Carried Judith off right under our eyes. They'll take her to that evil Chakotas high priest, Mayanahi. Doctor, we mustn't waste a minute. I'd rather know she was dead than in their hands. We've got to get through to the sacred city now. We've got to get through. Por Dios, senores, they are upon us. The constabulary is upon us. Run for it, senores, or we will never leave this hotel alive. Yeah, the mob's breaking in. Come on, doctor, we've got to save ourselves. That's the only way we can help Skip and Judith. Skip Turner in the hands of the enemy. Judith betrayed by Mrs. Santos. The Indian mob of La Jolla at the heels of Captain Friday and Dr. English. Listen next week to Chapter 4 of The Land of the Living Dead, which is entitled The Tree That Eats Flesh. You are listening to Adventures by Morse.